So we have Star Z in the building. Of course, he was with us in trending, and just now we're fully getting into his life and his music. Of course, he started singing at the age of 12 in choir, but playing the drums and also as a choir member. And um, his inspiration, I uh, guess, inspiration from Baba 70, that's Fela, King Sonia Ade to Baba David Duke, Daniels, and Brian Roman. He's released four songs for me, Inshallah, Away, and Chill. Now, welcome to the show again. Let's talk about your music. You've been singing since you were 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Is that when you started? For, but when was this? When did you officially start singing? Okay, the thing is, um, I started as a, um, a choir member and a band mm -hmm. in church. So, but professionally, I started um, five years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. I mean, five years ago, and um, what's the journey be like for you? And look at the songs you put out. Inshallah, it's Muslim. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, the journey has been really great, and the experience is really nice. Do you understand? I mean, of um pull out songs like for me inshallah away and now chill mm. yeah. okay I me mean, i'm looking at inshallah that seems like a yeah, muslim song, muslim like, song. Yeah, prayerful song actually. prayerful <laughs> song that because of the season itself that's mm -hmm. what you know i would have but what has inspired your music because you're an afro pop artist mm -hmm. what you say has kind of inspired your music okay so who? yeah um no, my kind of sound is kind of different, you understand? And it's called um, Afro Sound Boy. Afro what? Afro Sound Boy. Bod. Afro Sound Boy. Okay. Do you understand? So it's a kind of sound you can actually easily relate to. You guess? So, I mean, if you have listened to my songs, I don't just um, speak English. I speak, different, I speak different languages there. Do you understand? So, I mean, my recent song, my recent single now, I speak Calabar. It was some songs like, it's, I think, yeah, that should be second verse there. Do you understand? So, I mean, it's a song you can easily connect to, easily learn. Do you understand? It's a song for everybody. So, my kind of sound is not, it's not just based on one, um, in a particular one base. Do you understand? It's just there for everybody to understand and learn and also, learn the message hmm. very easily. Okay, I'm a bit confused because if you're saying your sound has different things, Calabar and all of that, how do people relate with it? Because people want a sound or a genre that they can, okay, this is Afro, this is this style, we know. Mm. This is um, this person's style, this dance style, we know. You know, so how do people relate to your music if it's a bit different You know, different this, this song is called um, Afro Sound, do you understand? But at least you can still feel the, the, um, the rhythm of Afro in that song. And at the same time, you can um, understand, you can get, you, if, like, it's not everybody that understands um, English now, she gets. Uh -huh. So when you listen to some songs, you'll be able to understand what this person is actually talking about in the song. Okay. She gets. So that is it, basically. And this, and this my recent song, too, is actually for the youth, for everybody, and um, I mean for Bob Risky and Tonto DK, actually. Wow, but Brisky and Tonto DK. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what were you, what were you addressing? What were you passing <laughs> to them so they can, that we can mention and tag them in this, um, in this video? Okay, so I mean, the song is, is actually there for different message. Okay, let me, now let me start with, with, with the youth. The song is talking to, uh, is passing a message to them as, okay, now if you don't have money, I mean, the little you have can actually be good with it. You can actually f make yourself feel comfortable with it. You understand? You don't have to be Obi, Obi Kubana. You don't have to be um, Imoni before you you make yourself feel good. Do you understand? I mean, the little you have you can still enjoy with it and hmm. do you understand. So that is it. And then the song actually I actually pass a message to Tonto Dick and Bobinski on how I feel for them. Why do you feel for them? Because I was going to ask you, when you came, you said you wanted to blow. So ah, how does people go? Let's talk about this blowing thing. Okay, so I'm sure even after you went, when we saw what happened over the weekend, you were going, <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel? <laughs> uh, so, okay, now, the thing is, um, I'm actually a big fan of Tonto DK. Do you understand? Okay. A very big fan. I love her so much. Uh, I love her so giddy gong. She, you understand? Wow. So, I mean, same goes to Bob Risky. She, do you understand? So, I mean... I love them, I'm, a, um, I'm their fan, and they're actually my crush, do you understand? Hmm. So, I mean, yeah, yes. Okay, now, aside that, Bob Risky is, um, 
is someone I'm attracted to sexually, do you understand? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the first on TV. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I have to say that. Do you understand? I mean, at this okay. point, I feel people should stop seeing Boris as gay. Okay. Boris is not gay. Do you understand? Okay, so, how should people see, uh, see him? I mean, people should see her, not, not even him, correct yourself on that. Oh, they have? Yeah, her. Okay. Do you understand? She, so, I mean, People should stop seeing her as something as gay. Do you understand? I mean, she's just like a normal woman who's do you understand? Who's who wants to get married? Who wants to get married? Yes, okay. do you understand? I mean, Bobinski has different. If now, let me tell you, if if you check into her lifestyle very well, you notice that Bobinski has never been. Paul, but do you understand in case of what you're seeing on national TV? Yes. Do you understand? I, I want to understand. I understand what I'm saying. Yeah. You really understand? Yes. Okay, because it's a uh, Wabiski is a guy who is a woman. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. He's a no, guy no, who no, wants no, to no, be a that, woman. That's for you now. That's for you. He's a guy. Are you a woman? I'm not a woman. Uh -huh. So. I mean, no. Someone who actually turned herself into transgen transgender. Mm -hmm. I mean, aside, I'm not even saying all that. For me, Bobiski is a woman. Wow. And I love her so very much. Okay, that's a very interesting one. So I'm sure that Bobiski is watching you. <laughs> and it's, because this is a first, because usually when we have artists come on the show, they don't always talk about that kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> so I don't really understand that. Um, but I mean, that's that's quite interesting. We have, what, 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 what formed this decision? This pattern of thoughts that you have regarding Bobiski and uh, Bobiski, not even Tonto Diki in this case. Okay, um, I mean, in this um, generation we are, mm. aside that, even in this country generally, I mean, the way I am now, I, can, I might be, I feel the work out for you now, do you understand? Okay. Me person, like I feel just do one, okay now, let me give you an example that you will understand. When you go to a club, mm. Mm, and then you, um, a guy and a guy do some kind of, um, there's a kind of funny romance there, mm -hmm. they will easily paint them as what? Gay. Okay. They, now, they are not going to say that, okay, now, uh, maybe they are just playing all this. Do you understand? They will paint them as gay. Hmm. Do you understand? Okay. Okay, now, then, when a woman and a, like a girl and a girl, now, they are just, okay, now, maybe they are just kissing themselves with, Pressing something that you understand, they are just trying to feel good and all that. They will say, Ah, I'm with their best friends and all hmm, that. You that's understand? That's different um, area of talking. But it, this seems to me that you really want to blow. Ah, <laughs> for this kind of conversation we're having, when you blow like this, hey. No, no, no. Aside, <laughs> as, aside from the blowing stuff, I'm just trying to let you. Know, I'm just trying to let you know that I think people should um, correct okay, themselves you're, you're from. Okay, you're really proud with your yeah. thoughts. You are liberal with your thoughts and even with your music, so it would even reflect your music too, I'm yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a very nice, interesting perspective, honestly, because that's not something you really get to hear on TV every single day, okay. you know. Um, so what is, with your music, we haven't really, moved. what's your plan to break forth or break through in this music industry self? Okay, so, um, okay, so, I'm from Benue State, okay. Stan, so, I mean, I feel... Benue State is not is not being recognized as it should. Okay. Do you understand? So I really want to put Benue State in a different map. Do you get so? And when they listen to my sound, I don't want them to. I don't want my sound to be to be just there. I want them to feel something different. Do you okay. understand? So. I mean, the, as I'm taking Benue State to another level, I'm also taking Nigerian music to another level. Do you understand? Okay. So. So what, I'm sure you're, what is coming up next? We, get, we have to move to the next segment. What's coming up next for you? I mean, yeah, I'm still working on my ne on my recent project, so okay. I'm still trying to. Uh, All right. So I mean, it's been interesting having uh, this conversation with you, and I'm sure that Bobrisky, we will definitely tag him on this video so he can watch and all of that. Uh, when is the Bobrisky video coming out? <laughs> <laughs> when is it coming out? Very soon, definitely. Ah, we <laughs> definitely. Okay, Stasi, it's really nice to have you on the show. All right. <laughs> in other news, in other words, uh, <laughs>
Uh, have you have you met Bobisky? <laughs> Bro, since when you can't talk, say this kind of thing. No, no, like no, 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 so no, 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 it's not, no, it's not, no, actually. I, I've been there, no, you understand, I met different, even though if I, even if I never met, at least, even though if I tell you I don't meet in Gatesman, you know, concerned about at least in Gatesman, if you give me info. So you don't met so, him? So, but I've not met him, met her. I'm sure you meet him after this. Anyway. Not meet him, stop saying that, ha. Ah. <laughs> <Do you understand? laughs> He's a him. He's not a her. Bro. Okay, so our next guest is uh, Dr. Nimi Ekere. She is a family physician and a child advocate. We'll be talking about the, how to keep kids safe during this holiday because their kids, you know how they can be. They want to eat so much, so much, so much. So we're going to be talking about that. And um, of course, even with the holidays coming up, this is July and children will be at home. And some parents are not happy about that at all. So we're going to be talking about how. You know, parents can be guided in helping the kids to take advantage of this holiday. We'll take a quick one and we'll be right back. <laughs> 